Hello everyone, Kweku here, back with another video, finally, I thought I would make another video, and I'll explain that in a future video, before the end of the year, I promise. And today, I wanted to kind of get back to my roots of doing uh, these app reviews again, um, and do a simple app review this time. This is something I found uh, recently, it's called Fluent Weather, it's by Gabo XL, I believe, if I'm saying that correctly, and uh, it's your straightforward windows weather app this one is from gabo excel it's called fluent weather and the reason why it's called fluent weather for those of you who are not used to uh what the word fluent means is fluent design is a microsoft design language and basically it follows the guidelines of something called win ui and again i'll probably have to explain that what win ui is again in a future video because it's definitely changed a lot since i've made the last video that i had on this channel and so this is an app that kind of follows the elements and I'll explain those elements as I go through this application. So without further ado, this is it right here. So right here is the general application, general layout and things. And at first glance, honestly, doesn't look half bad. It looks, gives you all the information, information overload all at once. And it doesn't look bad at all. Um, just glancing at it just to see what things look different. Things look pretty good. And honestly, I would probably say if there's only one thing at first glance to update and or change, it would probably have to do with this area here, this area here, and this area here, and as you scroll down. So these elements here are called acrylic events because, or acrylic um, elements, and basically they're there because they kind of are see-through, they kind of blur the background so much ever so slightly that it still follows the background's color scheme, but they're but you don't notice that it's any background. You just notice that the theme is still there. Um, and up here, I kind of wish that it followed the same thing as down here with acrylic, uh, just because I know these are clickable elements here, but this up here is not a clickable element. So my question is, why is down here clickable or unclickable, um, but it has this acrylic element, whereas up here, it's not. Um, and up here is not. So I would assume, if anything, if you're trying to make uh, clickable elements look different, then up here should just be acrylic and down here should be the same. Otherwise, my personal opinion is to just make all of it acrylic and call it a day. Um, but otherwise, so far it looks good. Um, it's straightforward. It's information overload all at once. If you hit refresh, it does upload, update. So you have to hit refresh, refresh. It doesn't look like it changes because clearly it didn't change here. And I wish that there was an auto refresh unless there is. And maybe it's like 10 minutes or there's some certain, certain amount of time for it. Um, so let's go up here. This is the search area. Um, I wish I had a ruler sitting right next to me, kind of see the alignment. It just looks ever so slightly that this side here, where the edge of this location icon is not aligned with anything, and it's kind of in its own zone. It could be aligned with daily forecast. It could just be that these elements here are not aligned and everything else is. I'm not sure, but definitely keep an eye out on the alignment section if you want to perfect the design of the application. Um, but otherwise, it looks good. I have some few things to say, but let's continue. So we have settings here, the settings icon. So you can see the UI is design is inspired by the work of Zia Lead. If you are familiar with this channel in the past, I did cover a lot of uh, concept videos and concept um, artwork and stuff from Zia Lead and Concept Central and a whole bunch of things. Um, and their work is amazing and this follows it so right here in settings you got different elements you got you if you're in the u.s you know that we use imperial here um, they have hybrid which kind of changes like for example the atmospheric pressure you can see if you look closely at it you can see the atmospheric pressure change just like that hg mb hpa and then you got the acrylic elements and so if you're not familiar with what acrylic is again it's this area right here you can see that it even shows the clouds kind of bleeding through and then the clouds are ever so slightly blurred background if i uncheck it it becomes this element here becomes much brighter than these over here and again i don't know why this area these bottom three areas are much brighter than these upper two i i don't know why in fact these upper three I'm not even sure is this up here even darker than this I, I'm not even sure but you can see the difference the acrylic effect only applies to the down below area the hourly and the weather insights and again I wish that it just applied to everything just make all of it acrylic if you're gonna choose acrylic otherwise when you don't have it it should just all be one color scheme unless there's a reason for it like clickable elements being a different color versus others but if that was the case 
up here would be the same as down here and these would be these would be the see-through ones like they currently are so i'm not sure what that is um but otherwise i would just have to say that another thing that i wish was in the application going to that point is that um, right now you can only have one location at a time showing and it doesn't auto refresh as far as i can tell i could be just not waiting long enough but as far as i know it doesn't auto refresh and i waited 10 minutes before uh reviewing the application and it didn't refresh and i'm not sure why so going in let's say we want to type in let's say woodbridge virginia so if i click woodbridge you can see Woodbridge's current temperature. It's definitely not. It's definitely 12 degrees Celsius up there. It's cold and just disgusting. Um, but it loses Ghana and it loses Norfolk, Virginia. So I wish there was a list of like your current locations. Because what if you have family or friends that live in different areas or you travel frequently? You just want to see what the temperature is in different areas, how the weather is in different areas without having to search for it every time. Um, so I wish that was an element that was added and I hope it's being added in the near future. But otherwise, I think so far so good with this application. I, it definitely has a ways to go before um, it, it goes up there to the levels of kind of like files application where they've been working on it for years. Um, I've looked at version one and version two, and I know there's a version three, and I'll get to that when, when I get the time to look through all of it for about like a month or so. But this was a simple start for me to start reviewing again, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And stay tuned for the update video talking about everything that's transpired uh, since 300 days ago that I didn't upload. So sorry for that, but you know how it goes with life. Um, otherwise, hope you guys are enjoying your week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.